what's going on everyone today we're just doing a quick update on my 30 days with the raspberry pi and the power consumption so now let's have a look at the chart to see if we're on course we have my low being 0.1 watt of course it's going to be that way that was what it was at the nine day results now my high did go up to 36.3 watt because i did add on four arduino unos to my usb hub i was doing some testing and working on a project but i managed to get a better cost per day based on my actual cost for the 30 days which was a dollar seven i was one cent off of my 30 day cost which is pretty impressive in 12 months i'll only use 13 dollars and three cents we have to minus off that 11 months that are remaining so 11 cents but this could go up or down based on whatever my usage is so if i decide to use more power or less but this is kind of giving me a good gauge of where i'll be sitting with my power consumption for the raspberry pi for the entire month and as you can see my cost for the nine days has only adjusted itself by um 0 0.00 so it actually went down that little bit well 0 0.0027 that nine day is now based on my 30 day not based on the nine day result as the average i am pretty happy with my uh, cumin power meter uh, it seems to be doing what it says and it's actually giving me decent results to uh, what i have come up with so let me know in the comments below if you're interested in seeing more results with my power consumption of using the Raspberry Pi as a desktop, possibly different setups you'd like to see me use with it. Also, if you hadn't hit that like button, do so now. Hit that subscribe button while you're at it. We've got lots more Raspberry Pi videos coming up soon. And as always, thank you for watching. You have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time. Take care, eh?